and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Grixis midrange. It's been a little bit since we've played this deck. I moved away from Grixis for the MCQ. I was I was liking this deck for the MCQ um, and liking it kind of against like Vampires and Scapeshift and, and Esper. But I was really worried about trying of beating green decks with Grixis. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I was too worried. Um, as you can tell from up the top here, we played Teamer Elementals in the MCQ earlier, and it didn't go so well uh, for us. We just played against Mono Red twice and Vampires once, and we struggled a little bit there. Would this deck have been better? I don't know. Maybe not. This deck isn't particularly great against Mono Red, so maybe not. Maybe we would have done about the same thing. But we're going to go ahead and play it here. Still, we're going to play... Some matches with Grixis midrange. Um, a couple of changes. Dreadhorde Butcher is like the kind of card that there's times where it's where it is pretty good, but there's a lot of times where it underperforms. And so instead of having the full four copies, we're going down to two copies. And for that, we have room for another removal spell with Bedeck and room for a Rekindling Phoenix, which I wanted this card. This card's just a, a good quality card. But yeah, and then we had a couple lightning strikes. So instead of the two lightning strikes, also we're going with Bedex. Um, we just played this deck with we just played this card with the five color reborn deck, and I really really liked it. And so I want to play some more of this card. It's an answer to a Danto Vanguard. Same with like our Legion's End. So it's a good answer to a Danto Vanguard. But then also the Bedazzle part, blowing up Field of the Dead's, felt awesome last time. I I don't know if like it will cost too much mana in this deck. For like the bedazzles part, we'll kind of we'll kind of see how it works like in a mid range deck, but yeah, I'm excited to try some bedeck bedazzles. Um, you know, we may end up switching them out, but we're gonna give them a try. So this is our our Grixis mid range list that we're gonna go ahead and play. And you know what? Let's let's play some ranked here with this deck. We're gonna play five matches over in ranked and see how we do in five matches with the deck. Grixis midrange. So we're going to say ranked. Okay. What do we got? Okay, you got to go somewhere. You can't be right there while I'm trying to use the, the mouse. All right, you want to come sit on my lap? All right. Hawkeye's going to join us. Now, Sultai Valley is still good. I think, <clears throat> I think I should probably readjust the mana base for Sultai Value to just have Field of the Dead. It's, it's just free with that deck um it just take me a little time to do that time and spend on it but that could be something that could could really help the deck awesome night owl getting that 1080p value love it Jund. Ah. Hmm. I guess these thought erasers are just going to lose a lot of value the more we wait on them. Well. Interesting. The second main rotting regisaur. What do you think about that, Hawkeye?
This deck's pretty broken. So I was gonna bedevil here so I could Thought Rager plus cast down. But yeah, obviously in hindsight it should have just killed the Marauding Raptor right away. Or just should just kill that seven six immediately. I mean they still would get to play this, and then yeah, they still could have just played both of them even without that seven six. Want these other legions ends, the noxious grasps. Yeah, I guess that's all we got. I like our chances though. We'll be we'll be fine. Yeah, I think the Raptor was the target with the Thought Erasure. Yeah, like... Just drawing back-to-back -back Galtas is hard to deal with. too slow. This is keepable. Ravager gone. Okay, you're not helping us out here. Or are you just a, a big dinosaur fan? You cheering for the dinos? Pretty smart play with our opponent for the duress bug. Take the unplayable five drop so that we draw another unplayable five drop. Alright, risking it again. Like, I am pretty. I was risking that they draw another land. Because, like, I'm I'm gonna be like, I'm just in like a whole lot of trouble in this this game anyway. So obviously they could just draw a dinosaur and kill me. I have few openings. I am Death's master. I wouldn't mind if they draw something that we could cast down this turn, but I also wouldn't mind if they just draw more lands. 
No. Boo. Okay, are you happy with the dinos one? You happy for the dinos? <laughs> Shifting ceratops, not a land. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good game of magic. Um... Sure, we're going to have to just draw all lands. Playing that because we have like basic swamps. If we draw a basic swamp. Come on, lands. Okay, land, that's good. We'll go ahead and go down to 10 here and get this Ravager in play. Okay, we're stabilizing. It's like with the Legion's end, they already know about all these cards. I could attack, and if you know, if it hits, it makes the Knight of the Evan Legion a 2-3. But then, you know, 2-3 still doesn't block Conquistador perfectly. <sighs> and then, of course, if they... They have, like, another, like, Legion's End to, like, get rid of the Knight. And then I only have, like, this Thief or a Blocker. Then I'll feel bad. Darn. Uh, I only have enough black for Bedevil.
cool. That's pretty beatable. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. Check out these fireworks. Okay. Yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion is so, so strong. It's so good. Game number two. Let's get more Legion's Ends. More Legion's End, less Dreadhorde Butcher. Call it a day. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Washington, what what do you mean by the MCQ overlay? Saying I have an MCQ overlay. Are you talking about just how I have like my record up here? I was ready to move the camera up. After Hawkeye's done. Yeah, there's a, there's quite a bit of delay. Usually uh, Usually, like, my camera is, like, pretty um, in tune to, like, what I'm doing, but I can, I can, like, go back and see the movements that I'm making a couple seconds later on my cam. Yeah, so I have, I said, yeah, there, that's, that was my arena, yeah, my, my MCQ that I played earlier, and now these are the other decks. We're going down the line. Ah, I should have taken the Conquistador. It's all Conquistadors. That is not a very good hand. All right, Caesar, take care. Yeah, Wake, a really aggressive version of Grixis could work. Definitely be worried about... Be worried about, like, beating, like, Mono Red and Vampires and decks like that. Um, you know, like, like just consistency of a, a three color aggro mana base that you said like curves out at three. It's, it's really tough. Cause like you have to like shock a lot and, and I'd be pretty worried about that of like the consistent, like, I think that just in general from just mana base wise, it'd be, and like how Grixis doesn't have life gain either. I think it'd be pretty tough against the other aggro decks.
Yeah, I don't really mind that they flipped the Adanta the first fort. Letting the, I let the three creatures attack. There. Don't mind it too much. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Your black control running the three Ugin main now. No. I don't I don't think so. Not that I know of. I don't know though. Like, we're gonna be take. I'll be taking a look at the, the mono black control list, later on whenever we get to it. See, what, we're changing if anything. With it. No, I think I was just playing two before, but may maybe we talked about adding a third one at the end of the last time. That sounds a little familiar. It looks like they must have drawn Soren. Or, never mind, it's just lethal. Right. Hmm. Alright, so letting them flip it onto Vanguard. Certain mistake on my part. <laughs> so I guess the turn before, y'all are saying was lethal as well. How fast can we mulligan? So I want Thief of Sanity. I want to be able to just keep taking their one drops and be able to play like one drop plus Bedevil the next turn and so on. Thief of Sanity is like a good threat. To be able to drop. And then keep playing spells. I don't want to keep this. Oh well, we won't. All 
Alright, well, we're in real trouble now. <sighs> Certainly glad I didn't keep the... the land. I want you back. Don't know how we're really beating two Sorens, honestly. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it personally. I bestow a mighty curse. Will I possibly trade a nickel bolus for a vampire? Bloodline flows through you. Two turns away from transforming. Another brick, no no vampire. Or removal, just another land. Alright, two bricks in a row is definitely nice for us. This wasn't my fight anyway. Hold on, no, no. No one can find to teach you respect. So Bolus is at four loyalty, so it doesn't die to a Soren tick up right now. Wow, they were... I know definitely looks like they discarded arm. the wrong card earlier. Everything is power, and I am everything. Oh, looking really good for us. Looks like we got this. Yeah, give me that. I guess I... I should just put that in the graveyard and then minus the ni other nickel balls and grabbed it back. I should have just done that. And then I could have played the other Ravager. But it's all good. All good, we got there. Yeah. Play Legion's End against Grixis Control. Thanks, Wombler. And we had one very good target for it, but we had Knight of the Ebon Legions in there. The only target for Legion's End.
hold on loosely. Don't let go. More vampires. Don't really want to see Vanguard. Cast down a stupid token. Keep them from flipping landing. I mean, still trading one for one, though. Last card out of there. Obvious no blocks. This is but a taste of my power. Wow. It was a little bit of an early trigger there. But yeah, like the game was pretty over. Like we were going to kill their Soren. We we're going to be able to hostage take her the one drop and replay the one drop. But they didn't really know that. Unless they're watching. Who knows? Maybe they're not. Maybe they just wanted to go on to the next game. Okay, up a game. Well, we are doing pretty good against vampires here. Even though we've just been winning some close ones that we could have easily easily lost. At least the last match. Game number two. Give me a reason. Ugh. Oh, I like having one Thief of Sanity. Don't think I really like three Thief of Sanities. Especially on the draw. Just gonna take the trade. See if they got Soren over here. They did have a Soren over there. 
I want to find like a threat or something besides just Bedevil. Well, it's a good way to strand that Champion of Dusk in hand. I don't think I can shock and play that, though. They draw another Vanguard. Devout Decree. Boo. Good thing I didn't shock it to play that this turn. Ooh. Yeah, Mono Black Aggro is already up on YouTube. Um, all three of the other decks are all already up on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Does that kill me? Just whiffed. We're basically dead. So it was definitely a safer play. Bedeck kill the Legion's Lieutenant before. So I need to hit Legion's Loot Legion's Landing. I need to hit Legion's Landing here. That's my out. It's not Legion's Landing. You know, because we kill Bedeck, or we Bedeck the, the Lieutenant, the Landing would have Lifelink, where we could block the big creature and gain a life, and we only take one, but we gain one. And then obviously we thought Erasure away the champion. Legion's Landing was our out. So if I if I don't cast Thief of Sanity, if I just cast Bedeck instead, we're just taking a, an attack from ten down to nine. And then they play the the one two. And then I play Thief. And then maybe we're taking a lot though, because the one two is gonna hurt us. Uh, I would I would not trust that conclusion whatsoever of saying that 7-2 is secure, 6-2 might make it. That is just, there's no way to know that right now. Like that's, that's complete speculation. Do not, do not believe that. Do not believe that 7-2 is secured.
for the MCQ thing. Expecting them to use removal after I block like that. Or maybe they'll just activate Knight their own. Man, Arena's been so bad today. Jeez. At least these things don't really attack through Nickel Bulls, the Ravager. We can Angrath steal that Adanto Vanguard. Never seen water burn? You will. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. So the two Vanguards are gone. And no, I'm not going to pay four life to pump the Knight of the Ebon Legion. No, thank you. Hmm. No fire, no steel. Didn't play that card, huh? In Thanks, Impox Impoxable. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, Fear to Monkey. Thanks for the kind words there. Um, so, yeah, we could kill a lieutenant. Okay, I was going to draw a card. But yeah, I decided just to draw a card and start making them sack stuff. I guess they don't want to deal with it. Maybe, yeah, maybe going with steal, steal the Lord and attack them for two, because then they don't block, and that means they take four. Actually, I think that was that was the best play was steal. See, it was take it was. Opponent need to give me just a second. But yeah, have it go with Angras ability to steal. 
Because then they take an extra two, so they take four, so that our other... Um, our other vampire turns into a 2-3. <laughs> Thanks, Impossible. Man, we are just trying to slay vampires today, aren't we? Can we make it three in a row against the vampires? Probably not. Or at least not this game. Oh man, this thing's... This game's over. Don't need to really show them more. Easiest sideboard plan ever. We gotta win two. Um, two post board games now this time, including one on the draw for game three. That'll be the tough one. But we gotta get there first, so let's get this one. Alright, we'll see if we can steal anything with Thief. I'm gonna start just draw, you know, stealing like one drops to be able to help me double spell and everything. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it. What is one life to save many? Sacrificing the vampire. These childish games bore me. All right, Soren, out of there. Hopefully no more Soren. That's not a Soren. Yeah. Together we can banish That's kind of a Soren. from this plane. Share in my light. Your light will cleave the darkness. I'm gonna deal with this Gideon. I found 
Stop playing Sorens. The blood is the life. <sighs> well, looks like the vampires got us for a game. Lot of swords. The blood calls to your soul. Awesome, Jeff. Yeah, that. The mono black control. Yeah, that deck's a lot of fun. We'll have fun with that one up here in a little bit. I'm just really dead. I mean, all I have to do is just draw a vampire and I'm dead. All right, they need to draw a land for this turn. Actually, okay, if they draw a land for this turn, we actually, we have a shot. Shot-ish. I guess, gosh, this thing still is going to go back up to six loyalty. Never mind. They need to draw a land, and we need to draw a land. I believe in you, friend. And I don't know. I don't know how we're doing 35 damage before we don't die. All right, so that's the start. Gideon's out of here. Now next turn we can kill the this Soren. Bravery wasn't enough. No, let's keep that. Because their goal is probably going to be, like, drop a vampire and Soren the same turn, sack the Soren, or sack the vampire, make me lose three, so that we have to kill the vampire in response. So we have to have our instant speed removal. All right, third Soren down. Uh, we'll go with this. This will make it hard for them. There we go. I am one again. We got there. Yeah, you just gotta believe. We did it. Yeah, victory by the skin of our bolus. <laughs> yeah, did 
did not. That one did not look good for a while. But Nickel Bolas came through pretty clutch. Yeah, good point. Don't need to count the chickens yet. Oh, I don't like this keep. I thought I had two black. I don't have two black. Uh, this keep doesn't look so good anymore. We're okay against Field of the Dead. We have Unmoored Ego and Blood Suns. And, you know, Thought Erasures and a decent clock. And Dragon God's good. Like, we're okay against Field of the Dead. I, like, you're not. We're not winning every single game, obviously. But we're okay. Obviously, they had the Vanguard, the Deke. They took that Thought Erasure so fast. Ooh. I need black mana. I need black mana. No land, no land, no land, no land. Okay, good. No land, no land, no land, no land. No. Hooray. Oh man, this is back and forth. I gotta pet Hawkeye and then watch me pet Hawkeye. Um. Boom, three and one, three O oh against vampires. Three O oh against vampires. All right, we're gonna play one more match here with Grixis Midrange before we move on to our next deck. Arena could use a reset though. It's been really, really bad today. Need to reset every few matches. Yeah, should have played this in the MCQ if we're just beating up vampires all the time. What was our loss to? Our loss was to something that wasn't vampires. 
Oh, it's a John Dinos. Yeah, that John Dinos opponent ripped pretty well against me. Still not like super in love with this Dex Mono Red matchup though. Like I, yeah, I don't like this Dex Mono Red matchup, but I I played two Mono Reds, so it could have definitely still been one and two, just losing to the Mono Red decks. Um, you can kind of play anything great. Uh, Vampires is the top deck. Uh, so, you know, like if... If you want Vampires, could be a good, good deck for you there. Yeah, that number two thing is because you have... You're the second you're the you're the second bits leader of the week. Um, if you look at like the top of the has like the the bits leaderboard, the weekly bits leaderboard. Thanks, Boltswagon. Thank you. All right, we're hoping to mill over a whole bunch of Field of the Deads with Thief of Sanity here. Also hoping to draw a land. I want to play the Ravager this turn. Not the worst thing to have. Thanks, Impoxable. Um, I guess, I guess, could, let's see. Hmm. Sick this thing. Sorry, I'm late. I'm gonna try to draw land. No, I am not making this up as I go. Dang. No land. I really should have seen that coming. Hopefully we get land here and we can Thought Erasure plus Legion's End. Gosh.
This game's over. Just can't play our cards. Bedevil was a really big part of how we were beating those vampires decks. We bedeviled a lot of Sorens. It was it's been very good for us. We're just dead. I mean, they just use their blast zone if they want to kill me. All right, sideboard. All right, what if we bring in all these things? Cut Butcher, Cut Knight. Play that, Cut the Devil. Cut one cast down. We'll cut a dragon god, a phoenix, and a hostage taker. All right, let's give this a try. The problem with Little Chandra is if they have Teferi in play, then you can't actually recast stuff with Little Chandra. That's kind of a problem with Little Chandra. And this is a fine hand, but I don't know about against their deck. I'm going to keep it. Just played against somebody who had Hostage Taker, Agent of Treachery, um, mass manipulation. <laughs> so they're just stealing everything. That's certainly rude. And that card's really good against Krasis. But let's look for look for something else. That's a good one. Time wipe's not till next turn. So we can thought erasure away the time wipe. I 
You know, like Noxious Grasp, Krasis, Thought Erasure, Time Wipe. I gotta keep this pressure on him. Certainly hoping they don't draw a ramp spell. They need like seven mana for scape shift, seven, you know, seven lands for scape shift, seven lands for agent of treachery. So they need to draw a ramp spell and hoping they don't find one. Very good, very good. Okay. So they're playing a bunch of time wipes. Do I not want this extra hostage taker for the time wipes? Do I want to play four Dragon God instead? Maybe. I guess Phoenix Phoenix is not bad. Um Yeah, Phoenix isn't so bad there. But it, it doesn't really hinder my opponent. This is still three black sources. We definitely want three black sources. I guess, I guess it just makes sense just to get rid of the swamp. Impossible. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we have ego. So of course our opponents, no, like they're gonna, like they have, um, they're gonna have Veil of Summer, of course. No Veil of Summer? Ooh, no Veil of Summer. I kind of want to say Hydroid Crisis, honestly. What if we just say Hydroid Crisis for the first one? No, we'll say Field of the Dead. It's just the thing to do. Yay. That hand's bad. All right, so what else they got? Four Krasis. Four Agent of Treachery. A four Agent of Treachery. Hey, Impoxable. Get your hypotes out there. Thanks, 619. I'm known for my excellent timing. Okay, so we're going to say Krasis. Then we kind of just have to worry about... I'm glad they scry to the top. So 
So let's see what else they got before I click this last one. So they have all four Teferi Time Ravelers. So four Agent of Treachery. Two Veil of Summer. Three Veil of Summer. Three Veil of Summer. So it's really just Agent of Treachery. That's a, it's a really annoying card. We do need to keep drawing, and by keep I mean start drawing spells. Though, spells would be nice. I've got it. Yeah, I mean it's it's all agent of treachery. Like that's that's what our opponent can can have to win. And there's impossible taking that top spot. Will resonate throughout. My schemes have been foiled. I they don't have like tons of cards, so four, four agent of treachery. You know, like they're at like eleven percent right now to draw a little higher, like eleven point, you know, two five percent or something. And they're just thin in their deck. Looks like here. <laughs> uh -huh. Boxwell's keeping it going. Always keeping that hype going. So, playing Thief of Sandy into Baffle again is, you know, fine, I guess. Time Ooh, they got rid of it, though. Let your weak minds so now it makes more sense to do this. I was going to blow up. I was going to be blowing up the Arch of Araska, but now we can just play the Thief. Uh, I don't like seeing that. So those are both spells in hand. I don't like seeing that. I think I only have the two on Mordigos, right? I don't have a third. Darn, I don't have a third. And I didn't put in Acolyte of Flame to be able to recast to them. Because casting it on Agent Agent of Treachery, the game's over. Really, we have to worry about them stealing Nicol Bolas and then me not being able to deal with Nicol Bolas afterwards. Here we go. My intellect is without limit. I won't let you win. So we're going to just sit here and just draw it land after land after land. We can definitely lose Agent of Treachery. They're at one out of seven now. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um... Explosively good pyromancer.
Let's get this Teferi out of here so they don't get to draw another card, don't get to bounce that thing. And then, uh, emblem or draw? <clears throat> I don't know if it's emblem for sure. The problem is... Emblem doesn't help me get rid of Nicol Bolas or Chandra if they steal. Yeah, I kind of think I should have just drawn a card. Because see, now... Now I'm pretty dead. Ugh. Alright, Emblem is wrong. Should have just drawn a card. We need more more cards. It's always draw a card. I will wipe your bloodline. My schemes are never ending. Yeah, my card would have been a land, but then we would have had another... You know, we would we'd right now already have the next card down. Conceivable! Witness a moat of my power. Yeah, maybe Krasis was less of a threat than Agent of Treachery. I don't know if we were really beating Krasis either, though. We just... We unmoored Ego of those two things, but then we just haven't really drawn... I mean, we drew... I guess we did draw one Nicol Bolas and one Chandra. But Agent of Treachery... Took out both of those. I'm a god once again. No, there's no way to win now. Definitely wish I didn't do the emblem that didn't matter whatsoever. That was just a really bad call. Emblem was not important at all. I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. So if I, yeah, if I would have said Agent of Treachery instead, yeah, we would have been fine. We could have dealt with the Krasis. Yeah, y'all are right. Yep, should have, should have named Agent of Treachery, not Krasis. 
That was the... That's what we messed up there. Magic's such a hard game, you know? Magic's such a hard game. Just basically always name Krasis, and so just used to naming Krasis, but our opponent's deck we saw had four agent of treachery. We didn't we didn't find a, a clock at all to to beat them. Uh Bedeck played really well still. So Bedeck still looking good. That was that's a, a good sign and really liked the Bedeck. Dreadhorde Butcher just kinda seems un, unnecessary. It helps the most in against Planeswalker decks. That's where it helps the most. But it, it does seem pretty unnecessary. I think we'll probably be replacing the Dreadhorde Butchers with more impactful cards. Don't know exactly what yet to think about that. What we want to play there instead. But yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher... You know, it's just, it's just not a card I ever wanted in any of those matchups. And I just took it out immediately. It's never a card I wanted. Um, yeah, that is true. Like, Veil, Veil of Summer, like, that is true. Like, getting rid of Krasis would have been a huge problem because they, they, they just draw into Veil of Summer and then have Veil of Summer to protect Krasis. So that would have been problematic as well. So, yeah, we'll never know. All right, but that's Grixis Midrange. Did like how we we beat all the vampire opponents. Did like that. That was a good, that was a good showing there, beating all the vampire opponents. That was pretty nice. Um, but anyway, uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.